going to show you how to use numbers to create a teacher's gradebook based on calculating an average on total points. And numbers is great because with the latest version you can sync the file between all of your Apple devices using iCloud. So you can have the same file on your iPad or on your laptop uh, and then access the files wherever you are. So let's get started. Here we have a blank numbers document. And first things first, we want to set up our header row. So these gray squares are header rows, and we'll right click, add a header row above, and then we can choose the options to freeze header rows, and we want to freeze header columns. This way when we scroll around the document, our header row and column will still be the same because those will have student names and assignment numbers. So in the upper left corner, we're going to write the class name. So in this case, we're class 1, 2 for the year and 08 for the month. And then to the right of that, we're going to write our assignments. So assignment 1, assignment 2, assignment 3, and then we'll leave a blank assignment space. This will make more sense in a little bit. We can expand the columns just so we're not on two lines and our last column will be the averages next we need a column or a row for points so this will be the total assignments value so we'll just say it's 10 points 25 points and 50 points and blank will leave blank also in column A we're going to list the students names so we'll just say student 1, student 2, student 3, and student 4. And then we'll add their grades. And these are all just hypothetical numbers. And again, in the blank column, we'll leave that blank. So now we want to total up our points. So we want to take the sum of the points into this column. So we'll just hit the equal sign and type sum, which will add all the numbers together, and click and drag. Close the parentheses, and then hit the return key. Now we want to take the sum of the students' points and divide them into the average number and then we're going to that's going to give us a decimal like 0.95 or something and then we're going to multiply it by 100 to give us a two digit grade so we'll hit the equal sign and then type sum click and drag over the column and then we want to divide by this average number and then we will multiply by 100 hit the return key and this student has a perfect score so they have a hundred now we'll go in and we'll edit this formula I'll click up here to F2 and we want to set the absolute row and column that way when we go to copy and paste uh, we can do that hit the return key to save the changes and hit the command copy button and then paste paste and paste and now we don't need all these decimals, so in the inspector we can change decimals from 13 to 2. Oh, this one doesn't want to work. There we go. And now let's um, fill this column so that we know it's definitely for points. And now using this blank column, we can right click and add column before to keep the uh, formulas in sync that way you don't have to adjust any of the formulas and you can just put the next assignment with the average points for it and then whatever the students points are and keep in mind that as when you add an assignment it's automatically going to update these grades so don't be alarmed when there's 40s or 50s because you have to put the actual grades in. And that about does it. Now you can just save it to iCloud and access it from all your devices.